<laughs> no, it's okay. But thank you for reminding me. Welcome. <laughs> um, and then school board member uh, Rob. Here. Hi, right. Okay, and for those who don't know, I'm Sheila Pouch. I'm the Community Services Director. And also you see here on the screen is Melissa Snyder. She is our Community Services Coordinator. Um, over the past year, we have had many changes in our department. I think as your life has changed, we have changed also. Um, Tony is no longer working with the city. Um, and so Melissa and I will be running um, your meetings as your liaisons. Um, and so we'll be here to help on the city side for you. But as of um, right now, um, we're just kind of going to do this as a group effort and try and get everybody filled into these um, into the positions because we do have a few more positions that need to be filled. Um, you know, I'm looking for some 10th graders, um, you know, maybe a senior who wants to do a year um, because obviously it ends by the end of your senior year. But um, so I, we are kind of in need of a few more people. So if you have friends and people who want to be involved, please make sure they fill out an application online. Um, okay, so from here, after our uh, roll call, um, you just ask if there's any public comments. Uh, so you can go ahead and ask for public comments if there's any. By the way, Sheila, I'm here. Yes, I've got you. Thank you. Got that? You want to ask for public comments, Juliana? Oh, okay. Um, does anyone have any like public comment? So usually this is people that are not on the commission and usually are people that are um, in the general public and they'll comment on things that are not on our agenda. So usually in a Zoom meeting, you can tell we know everybody on this call, so we can assume there are no public comments. So you, you'll just see, say, see, no public comments. We'll move on to the next communication. Okay. Okay, so you wanna go ahead and move to communications? All right, um, yeah, so for, First, I think is city council liaison communications. Council member uh, Donovan, do you have any community you want to? Uh, that that would be me. And, that would be me. And since this is my first meeting, no, I don't have any communication at this time. But uh, I'm happy to be on this commission. And one of the ones I had selected is uh, the mayor picks them, and I asked that I'd like to be on here. So uh, here I am, and hopefully uh, we'll have a good time together in the next year or so. Great, thank you. Okay. Okay, um, and then there's commissioner communications. So, yeah. Does anybody have anything they want to say, bring up? Um, well, actually, now that you mention it, um, I just wanted to bring up um, the whole idea of like South Pass and their involvement with banning uh, single use plastics. I think maybe we, hopefully we could put that on the agenda for next time because I do, uh, I am the liaison between this commission and the natural resources and environmental commission. So I do have a few things to say on that because I do keep in contact with like Mr. Georgie who's on that commission. So yeah, hopefully next time um, I can be put on there. Thank you. Okay, so we'll add that to the agenda. Um for the next time. And it looks like on the agenda, I did forget our school board member. So if you would like to invite him to make any comments. Okay, yeah, can we invite uh, the school board members? Yeah, that would be great. Um, okay, I think, unless he's on here. Oh, okay. Let him know. <laughs> there he is. He's yeah. not one of the students, so he looks young. <laughs> So yeah, so um, like Mr. Donovan, you know, school board, we, we've been meeting, I feel like, uh, you know, a couple times each month, if not more frequently. So uh, plenty of information out there. But uh, as, as a prior commissioner, I appreciate the work that you're doing. Uh, don't really have any major updates today. I'll, I'll take it in today um, and see where the conversation takes us. And from this point forward, kind of, you know, help agendize items as they as they come available. But thank you for all of your service to this commission. I think they're an important part of city government and appreciate your roles. Thank you. Okay, great. If no one else has any other like commissioner communications, then I guess moving on is the staff liaison communications. 
Sure. Um, so as I introduced, I introduced you to um, Melissa and her and I will be your um, liaisons this year. Um, so what um, I know in the past, um, and many of you have been on the commission before or have been a part of something that the commission has done, it's always been a volunteer at this event, a volunteer at that event. Um, and it's just kind of just cookie cutter. And I don't believe you as commissioners are getting enough out of that. Uh, learning government and learning leadership. And so I would like to expand on what we normally do. Once we're able to have events, I would love to invite you back to those events. Um, and even if we're setting up for an event like we did for Halloween, you know, we'll obviously include you. Um, and if you are able to come and volunteer at that time, that will be great. But, you know, um, this year has really thrown all of us for a loop. And I, um, you know, there's honestly, there's a disconnect, I believe, with the city and the, the, our youth, our teens, our middle school and high school kids. And I really want to kind of bring that um, together. And it's not going to happen within this next six months, but I hopefully within the six months and another whole school year, we can engage much more um, on a government level, not, you know, learning more about government, um, being there for you. I know I talked to a few um before this meeting and talked about different things and ideas um, that you know, we could bring to the commission um, and that brings to our teens on behalf of you guys. You know, um, is, it, is it a webinar or just a Zoom um, speaker on you know, suicide prevention, uh, getting through this cold COVID thing with not being around friends constantly and that whole thing and missing out on football season and missing out if you were on sports, missing your senior or junior you know, year of your sport and what, you know, how that makes you feel and how maybe you can process. Um, but, you know, not just about COVID, but just about other things you guys are going through in normal life settings. So um, I just hope that over maybe this next month between now and our next meeting, or if we meet sooner, like, think about it, bring ideas, email me just like, oh, you know, hey, I saw this webinar or I heard about this and or look into researching different things that are free that we can bring to the students, like just through a webinar and it can be brought to you by the, you know, the Youth Commission. And then you guys start the webinar and introduce the speaker um, because I just think if, if you're out there more, um, and, the, and teens in the city can know have a place that they can come to and be a part of this meeting. Because when we say public comment, we hope that more teens come on and just say, hey, you know what, it'd be great if we had this. It's just a public comment, but that's something put in your head to start thinking about. That's what our city council, people do at city council. They come and make public comments and say, you know, we really need X, Y, and Z, you know? And so it's ideas that people in our community bring to us because I can't bring all your guys' ideas unless you bring them to me. So hopefully, um, you know, we can really start thinking about that and um, maybe by the end of the year, do a more of a kind of a, a small youth and government day for you and a few others to, to just see what our council members do on a daily basis and what they have to go through and sit in meetings and understand, you know, agendas. I mean, the agenda has to, I mean, you see all this language on this agenda. It's like, it could be one page, but look at all the stuff we have to add legally, you know? And so why do we do that? And, you know, the Brown Act, you all had to, you know, raise your right hand and go through the whole thing. <laughs> um, and I think there's a Brown Act training coming for um, the new people, but I just, yeah, I want this to be worth your time. I don't want you to want to say, okay, I'm a part of youth commission check. I want it to be something exciting for you and something you enjoy. So think of ideas, send them to me. Um, I know we haven't met for the past, what, six months. Um, so please, please, please just make sure that you, you know, if you need think that we should meet one more time, you know, let's do it. So Sadie, did you have something? I did have something. I was just also thinking that we could do, you know, peer to peer outreach, like, um, and kind of come up with ideas to advocate for within like our kind of peer groups and peer communities. And then we could also like kind of pick things that we want to advocate for in like local government settings too. Like if we want to go speak at a school board meeting about something that, you know, we feel strongly or passionately about, or, um, it would be kind of a cool idea um, and different because we're, you know, in COVID and we can't plan activities. Um, it'd be kind of an interesting thing to do, I think. 
Well, I, I mean, I'm not a council member and I'm not a board member, but those who are on our, our commission, um, do you think your, your commissions or councils or boards would, would, you know, welcome something like that from our teams? I mean, I know it's crazy time with COVID, but. Yeah, we are always welcome. Um, we appreciate public comment. We, 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 especially recently, we get a good, uh, you know, few hours of it uh, as of late. Uh, <laughs> but, but again, I, I think collective voice, right, bringing your perspectives to the table, um, you know, that's an essential part of this process, right? And and as you talk about serving on a, a commission, it is really an entree into you know, government, right? And, and understanding the procedures and the processes that go into play, because I think from the outside, right, we have certain assumptions. And when you actually have to sit through one of these meetings and all it encompasses, you start to understand the procedural aspects of it. And so, um, you know, I think both city council meetings, school board meetings, other commission settings, just getting a sense of what is um, available and open to you all. Uh, but I'd love to find ways um, to, to engage on, on a larger scale and would support any efforts uh, along those lines. Thank you. Okay, Juliana. Um, yeah, no, I, I, first of all, I agree with Sadie. And also, um, just to let you know, I did recently find out about this opportunity called Breathe Free South Pasadena, where they want teens to attend this like webinar sort of thing about, um, you know, vaping and like the harms of that. And so if anyone wants the link, I can send it out or yeah, like forward it to people's emails. Um, so yeah, maybe if in the chat, like you could put if you're interested, like I see Sadie, um, and I can like directly, you know, email email you. So yeah, I think if you can send that if you want to um, send it, just add it to our um, the email that had everything, then it would get to everybody. But if you send it to me, maybe what we can do is Melissa is really good at putting stuff on our Facebook page. Um, you know, to kind of keep people interested. Um, and then um, maybe I can try and get it over to the school district and have it sent out to the middle school, high school. Um, you know, it's just kind of a flyer what it is. Yeah, it's like this Thursday, so it's pretty soon. Um, okay. But I, we're not allowed to reply all right to the emails because of the Brown Act. Right, send, send it to me. You are very good. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> So that's a great idea. So if any of you guys see those any other places, um, send them over to us, especially if they're free and people can just log on and they don't feel like they're pressured into it. Um, I think it's much easier. Sometimes when people go on like a Zoom thing and they see, people see their face, they may not be, you know, oh, I don't want people to think I'm, you know, doing this or, you know, or I need help with it. Um, but I think it's a nice way to put it out there to people to give them that opportunity. So opportunities like that you see always send to us so that we can do kind of a, a we do a whole, you know, out to our community, an email uh, blast. So Sadie, Metcalf, did you have another? No. No. Okay. That's just my cursor with my hand on there. Okay. <laughs> Anybody else have any ideas? Zach, welcome. How are you? Hi, I'm doing great. Good, good Thank to see you. you. Um, okay, so I'm going to, Melissa, did you have anything you wanted to add on the way of staff comments? No, I don't have anything to add. I think okay. you got it all. Thank you. Okay, well, uh, Juliana, now that Zach is um, here and he is actually our chair, I'm going to turn it over to Zach. Okay. And Zach, we are on number five of the agenda. Okay, thank you. Um, just give me a second to find the email. I just said it working. Unless you would like Juliana to finish, she can just go on with the meeting. It's up to you. Um, you maybe uh, go through the next. Um, go through the next point and then let then go, go through back. the next point while I find. Okay. It. Yeah. Okay, so Juliana, we have number five. So um, usually we read the title and then you ask for a motion. Um, if there's any, um, there's a motion to approve those minutes or if there's any questions about the minutes. Okay, um, so the next item is approval of the May 11th, 2020 meeting minutes. So do we have anyone who wants to motion to um, approve those? I move to approve the May, 11 2020 meeting minutes and you'll always ask for a second motion. okay would anyone like to second that motion i i second that motion thanks zach 
And maybe, and then usually what you would ask if, um, if the motion carries, and that just means this everybody approves. So if anybody, you know, if you're all in favor, you say aye. If you are not in favor, say no or nay. So you just ask that if you are in favor, say aye. And then everybody can respond. Um, uh, all in favor, say aye. 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 Okay, I think we got everybody. Is there anybody opposed? I don't see anybody responding. Okay, so the, then the motion carries. Okay, then Zach, you got number six. Okay, um, number six is the approval of the 2020 annual report. So I'll give everyone a couple minutes to look over that, but when you're ready, um, some can motion to approve. So just also, Zach, um, when you have a moment, if you can send over your message that you would like to add in, um, just send that directly to me since your report um, that comes from the chair, the message comes from you. It's very short, but if there's anything anybody wants to add um, that we are forgetting because a whole year has gone by, <laughs> um, we can add that. But if not, um, uh, we can, you know, it's up to you guys to make the motion to approve it. Um, if you need time to think about it, um, then what, if you, somebody just needs to, you know, if you don't feel you're ready to approve this and you want to think about it, and then it'll carry over to the February meeting. But that's up to you as a commission. I move to a uh, motion to approve the 2020 annual report. Is there a second? I second. And who was that? Sadie Abelson? No, who was second? I'm sorry. Oh, I seconded it. Yeah. <laughs> Do you have a question, Camille? Oh, no, I also seconded it. But okay. I, yeah. Okay. Um, all those in favor of approving the 2020 annual report say aye. 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 All those opposed? Okay. Um, next up is the approval of the 2021 work plan. Um, kind of the same. We'll give everyone a couple minutes and then when we're ready, someone can move to approve it. The message um, I'm sending you is just about any, like the situation, right? Yeah, just kind of uh, this year, kind of in a, in a nutshell. And I know there's not a lot, but. And so you guys have a work plan. Each commission um, in uh, South Pass has a, a work plan and um, so it's formatted a little differently than what you had last year. Um, so usually we try and figure out what we want to do for our year. Granted, it's a short year, <laughs> but um, so that's why I was trying to find some things. And so I put as one of the objectives, it was assist local youth um, during the pandemic by conducting virtual online platforms. Um, and that's kind of what I was talking about. So, you know, maybe we can, as you know, these weeks go on, we kind of think of different things that we can put on a platform for everybody and anybody who likes to, wants to sit in and, and watch. Um, it might be the easiest thing we can do without bringing people together. Um, and then the second one is the spread the uh, cheer program. Um, one of the, th the things that we as um, community services has really been worried about is our seniors. Um, they, there are a lot of seniors in our city that live alone. And so during this time when people are, you know, granted, okay, the stay at home order is lifted, but, you know, many seniors still worry about going out um, and getting COVID. They don't, you know, and they're trying to just get the vaccination and, and things like that. So 
the other thing we, you know, is just, you know, work with the youth to, you know, create either cards uh, for our residents and our homebound seniors, you know, on a monthly basis, like we have Valentine's coming up, and then we have St. Patrick's Day, and then you have Easter, you know, and then you have um, Memorial Day, and just kind of send cards, um, having people just create cards and messages to our seniors, even if it's a card you buy at the store, just saying, hey, just thinking of you, hope you're having a great day, you know, if you want to write me a letter, here's my address, I'd love to write you back, you know, just any thing that gets to them. Um, the, um, we had a group um, that gave us about 55 or 60 letters for Christmas. And we had seniors calling us saying how much they appreciated those letters, because it felt like they were cared about and thought of. And so you as commissioners can engage other people in school or, you know, if you have a creative writing class, um, anything to just, think, you know, say, hey, we're collecting, you know, notes and cards for seniors, just give me as many and then you just drop them off senior center and then we do, um, we do our lunch program and then we so we'll send them out to those who get lunch. And then we send them out to any other seniors that we might be able to find through our dial ride program and our senior uh, membership so that we're trying to reach as many people as we can. Um, so currently, Melissa is um, working on, it's called Snuggle a Senior. So you donate a blanket with a note to it. And so we're gonna be delivering those to seniors the first week of February. We can't really snuggle them, but the blanket can snuggle them for us. So we're just kind of letting them know, that we're thinking about them, keeping them warm, um, kind of during this difficult time. So those are the things that, you know, I'm really looking for, you know, you guys to do on top of the virtual, but just bringing different programs or things to our seniors. So I just want to, that's the work plan I put together. But if anybody has any other ideas you think we can accomplish by the end, we can, you know, we can add to it. I just have a, in addition to the, the, the spread cheer program, we could take, um, you know, writing letters to the seniors for holidays. And then we can also ask if any peers like want to do or want to sign up for you know, a pen pal program, and then we could work on that um, with the seniors as well. So people, you know, people can just write cards for the holidays, can also like sign up for this pen pal program, and we could work something out with the senior centers to get that done, maybe. Okay, that sounds good. I have another question. Are we going to continue to do um, drive through stuff like we did for Halloween, um, or not as much? Um, you know what, um, I'm gonna let Melissa speak on this and what she's kind of doing with, um, with the youth, because she's actually doing both jobs right now. <laughs> yeah. Um, so right now I, I haven't completely planned anything for youth uh, in terms of a drive by, um, but we are looking to possibly do something for Easter because that's a big, a big deal. Um, we are doing drive-bys for the senior center. So we do have a Valentine's day drive-by where they just come drive up and we give them a treat and send them on their way. Um, it is not as big as like the spook through because it's just us and just the one treat that we give them. Um, so we're doing that for Valentine's Day. We'll do it again for um, Easter and then we'll do something for Mother's and Father's Day as well for a drive through. Um, on the youth side, we're still kind of planning that out, but there'll most likely be some sort of event for the spring. Okay, thank you. Does anybody have any ideas? Okay, go, go ahead, Councilmember. All right, uh, I do have to leave. Okay, okay. and uh, sorry, I have to do that in my first meeting. Uh, I wish we had. I had one of two of these before my first council meeting to learn how to how one of these meetings should go. But anyway, <laughs> looking forward to the next one. And thank you. It'll be here much longer. Thank All you. Right. Thanks. Bye bye. Bye bye. Let's see if I can figure out how to get out of here. There we go. <laughs> He had a, he has a ad hoc commission of the finance committee, so he's got another meeting to run off to. So, so do you guys think that you guys can kind of help Melissa think of ideas for Easter and be a part of that? I mean, I think it'd be a great idea, and then we can add on this where instead of just you know older residents, we can say um, homebound seniors and youth program or for youth and add the youth. And then when we come to our end of the year, we do the big end of the year programming. And another thing is, is I know for you guys, it's this year, school year, and then we go away for summer. Some of you um, will return, some of you might not in September, 
But when you return, this work plan continues. So I'm hoping that in September, we are open back in school and try having events and football games and everything else that we can add on to that at that time. But we're kind of just being really cautious on, you know, putting too much that we might not be able to get, so. Also, uh, you brought up school. So it made me think about our teachers and how probably underappreciated they feel right now. Because one, they have all their students constantly turning off their cameras and oh. not engaging and, or being or participating like at all during class, which I try to because I understand the struggle. Um, because it, it can be hard to just talk to a gray screen. Um, but speaking of just sending, like finding a way to organize like the student body at South Pass because that's, you know, the high school here or and, um, even the middle school and elementary schools possibly just like find ways to send teachers like appreciation cards okay. because they're really lacking that in-person like like joy they get from seeing their students learn. But so yeah. true, <laughs> so true. I think that's a great idea. And um, we do not have to agree upon this whole plan. Like you guys can brainstorm through and then the next meeting we come back and you say, hey, I have this, I have that. I really like to add this. Um, Cause like I said, this is like, some of you I only have until the end of this school year, but some of most of, I think most of you were actually on for a whole nother year. We're gonna work on it, Juliana, don't worry. <laughs> and so um, we can come back to it. But I think these three, like if we add, you know, a teacher appreciation, um, those three can be, you know, three solid things that we work on the next couple months. Um, but I will give you, um, we can table this until our February meeting and we can come back to that. And if anybody has any new ideas, you can always send them to me in an email and I'll add them. So when it comes to the next meeting, they're already attached and then people can, we can talk about them then. Okay. But I'll leave that to you guys to decide. Um, let's have a vote. All those in favor of tabling this for the next meeting, say aye. 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 All those opposed? Okay, so I'll bring this back on the next one. You guys send me ideas. Sadie, that was a great idea for the teachers, and I will add that one on. Um, we just have to rally the troops with the schools to, you know, we might want to do high school, middle school, um, or work on high school first, then middle school. It's kind of up to you. I think the, I won't say it, but I would assume our middle school kids are probably a little bit more engaged than our high school kids. And I think our high school teachers probably need a lot of love right now. I, um, I agree with that. <laughs> and I know they're having a hard time. So, um, yeah. So think of ideas of how you guys want to do that. That would be great. Okay, um, moving on from work plan, number eight is the election of a chair and vice chair for 2021. I think we go chair first. So if anyone wants to nominate someone um, or nominate themselves to run for chair, speak now. I'll nominate myself for chair for another year. Um, I'd also like to nominate myself for chair too. Anybody else? Is there anybody out there looking for vice chair? I'll nominate myself for vice chair. I'm like, I'm just trying to see what's out yeah, there. Can you, multi can you yeah. nominate yourself for multiple or no? <laughs> <laughs> but you can, you can always. But why should. don't you, so if there's nobody else for chair, Zach, you want to go ahead and. Um, accept those two nominations and then move forward with a vote. Okay, um, yeah, I'll accept the nominations and, um, okay, everyone voting for Juliana Fong, say aye. 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 How many is that? Put your little, wave your hand up for, raise your hand and yeah, there you go. How many is that? One, two, three, four. Okay, four, okay. All those voting for Zach Machado, me, say aye, or raise your hand. Okay. 
Four to three, Zach. It's like uh, hey, Juliana. Um, yeah. All right, so Juliana is a new. To approve that one? Uh, yeah, a motion to approve the vote. Um, I'll move to approve the vote. Mm -hmm. There a second? Second. Camille, okay. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Oh, any opposed? Okay, we can move on to vice chair. Okay, so you have one nomination of Sadie Metcalf. Is there a? I'm gonna nominate the other Sadie. Oh, <laughs> Sadie. Sadie. <laughs> Sadie's <and> Sadie. Okay. <laughs> Anyone else? Can I nominate myself? Camille, okay. Okay. Okay, ooh, tough race here. <laughs> okay, um, everyone voting for Sadie Metcalf, uh, raise your hand and say aye. Aye. Okay, this is Sadie Metcalf, so I have one, two, three, four. I've... Wait, was that you, Zach? Did you have your hand up on that one? Yes, Are yes, you... I did. Okay. Maybe M has five. Okay. All those um, voting for Sadie Abelson, raise your hand and say aye. Or, well, you uh, can't vote twice. No, no, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I, just, I didn't even know Sadie Abelson was running. Sorry. Okay. Um, all those voting for Camille Wetzel, raise your hand and say aye. Okay. Okay, it looks like Sadie Metcalf. So if you want to do your motion and everything. I motion to approve the vote. Okay. A second. And who is that? I'm sorry. Uh, Ella. Ella, okay. All those in okay. favor, of, uh, favor of improving the vote for vice chair say aye. 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 All those opposed? Okay. Um, with that, I think that's the end of the meeting. Okay, right. so before we adjourn, I want to thank you, Zach, for two years, or actually longer for um, being a part. Um, you run a very good meeting. Um, I don't know where you learned your excellent meeting skills, but thank you. Um, you thank know you. all the, the lingo, so good job. Um, and so um, I'm just going to kind of recap the meeting. Um, I am going to add to the agenda on the next agenda. Oops, I wrote it down here. The um, NREC um updates so that we have that update each meeting um we are going to uh table the 2021 work plan so please come with ideas next time and in between then and now um if you as a commissioner would like something on the agenda um you need to go to your chair um and either you have a second that means somebody else on the commission will uh, agrees to bringing that to the agenda. Um, if you don't have a second, then obviously it can't be added, but you would take that to your chair and then your chair would notify me that Sadie asked for such and such to be on it and Camille uh, is the second. And so that's how we would add something onto the um, agenda um, at any time. Um, so I know learning this whole Robert Rules of Order and all this is kind of different, but um, I'll tell you in a couple of meetings, you'll have it down no problem. It's, it's not that hard. So um, with that, oh, my other thing was, since we haven't met a ton, obviously, do you want to continue just meeting once a month or would you like to meet sooner? Just so that um, I can, if we meet in between meetings, it would be called a special meeting. So it's it's the same thing as you, we just put the word special on it because it's not the same date and time. Um, also, 
if the time and also just thinking time and date of this meeting like the time is six o'clock too late i don't know how school is with you guys and you just want to like get off the computer and be done and maybe start at five and just be done um is six better does it interfere with dinner i don't know so you guys uh, if you can kind of give me that feedback yeah i like six is the time you like six camille yeah okay so we're going to keep it at six okay all righty. So did you want to do a meeting in between this meeting and our February, I think it's night meeting, or did you just want to keep it to the end of February or 22nd, 9th? <laughs> um, oh. I don't know that, oh, sorry, sorry. No, no, go ahead. Um, I was just going to say, like, I think maybe it might be better just since people are probably busy if we have like, you know, once a month meetings. But Okay. Sounds good. Okay. Then, um, before you adjourn, our next meeting is February 22nd at 6 p.m. I will send you all the Zoom information. And um, I'm sorry, my dog really wants in. Um, and um, since uh, Juliana is the chair, you will be contacting me and we'll be working on the agenda together. Okay. Thank you. Okay. And so, Zach, I'm going to let you finish out your last meeting. Okay. Um, I would like to adjourn this meeting at 6.39 p.m. Great. Thank you. So move somebody. You want to move, make them say so moved. And what it does is it closes the meeting. So moved. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Same. Sadie. Okay. Well, everybody, you guys have a good evening. Get your thinking caps on. This is fun stuff to think about. Not always school stuff that we can do for um, you guys that are out there. So. See if anybody comes in class and brings up any ideas and just pass them along. I just have a, I have a quick question. Sure. Um, so I'm just thinking that, you know, I've never like, see, we're not going to see each other in person for at least a while. So next meeting, like before the actual meeting and minutes start, we could just do an icebreaker, like just something short and we just do that every meeting. Um, okay. Well, since you are our vice chair, right? Do you want to think of something? I can do that for sure. Okay, awesome, awesome. How about then um, you bring, let me know and I'll, I'll just put it a, at the beginning of the agenda before we open the meeting, okay? And then I'm, I'm hoping that as the band lifts, um, that we can get so many, you know, they allow like in the classrooms are allowing what up to 22 or to 26 people, depending on the size of the classroom, that if we can also, if it gets to that point, be able to have an in-person meeting, we might have to have it, you know, at the senior center and be kind of large, you know, in the large room and kind of spread out. But as things beginning to start to open and we are able to meet in person, I will bring you in person. Okay, so it's not so zoomy and you guys can get off Zoom because I can't, I, I don't know how you guys do it all day. So you guys are doing good, but just keep going until we can get back into school. So, all right. All right, have a great month and we'll see you in February. And please, please, please email if you have any questions. Thank you. Bye guys. Bye, Thank you. Bye guys. Bye, Melissa. Bye. 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 Bye.